Dodge this. Everyone knows those voter lists are inaccurate. People who should get them don't get them, which is what has been one of the major complaints in states that have tried this in, in municipal elections. And uh, people who get them are not the right people. They're people who have replaced the, the previous occupant, and they can make them out. And sometimes multiple ballots come to the same address with a whole genera several generations of occupants. Do you think that's a way to run a vote? Well, uh, the only thing I'm saying is that so far we haven't seen widespread Fraud, but so far, we haven't tried it. Republican well, this is like playing with fire. This is playing with fire. We're a very closely divided country here. And if people have to have confidence in the results of the election and the legitimacy of the government, and people trying to change the rules to this, to this methodology, which, as a matter of logic, is very open to fraud and coercion, is reckless and dangerous, and the people are playing with fire. No evidence of widespread flaws in the mail-in voting process. Antonio Mujica and his partner Alfredo Anzola received a small business loan from the Venezuelan government only months before the recall election. These corporate registration documents from Venezuela show the Venezuelan government owned 28 percent of the stock of another company they started, Bizta, which adapted voting software for the Smartmatic machines in the 2004 elections. Sources tell CNN that top aides are suggesting that the defeated president, President Trump, hold rallies to drum up bogus conspiracies about election fraud. The same document shows a Chavez government minister, Omar Montillo, was on the board of directors. The Chavez government gave Bizta, Smartmatic, and another company a $91 million contract to run voting machines for the 2004 election. Georgia's probably going to be the first state I'm going to blow up and... And Mr. Kemp and the Secretary of State need to go with it because they're in on the Dominion scam with their last-minute purchase or award of a contract to Dominion of $100 million. The next year, the owners of Smartmatic, primarily owned by Venezuelan businessmen, bought Sequoia, one of the top electronic voting system companies in the United States, for $16 million. Smartmatic is a labyrinth of international holding companies owned by Venezuelan businessmen. The GOP keeps spreading completely unsubstantiated claims of voter fraud. Smartmatic Group NV of Curaçao, Netherlands Antilles owns Smartmatic International BV of Amsterdam, Netherlands, owns Smartmatic Corporation of Florida, which bought Sequoia Voting Systems of California, USA. When Smartmatic bought the U.S. voting machine companies, the U.S. government did not review the sale. Many experts say those voting machines were manipulated in Venezuela to give President Hugo Chavez a victory. Exit polls done by the U.S. firm Penn, Schoen and Berland had Chavez losing 41 percent to 59 percent. Now, as I mentioned before, Tides Canada is directly funded by George Soros, and this is very clear evidence that George Soros' company and Dominion Voting have worked together to cover up the fact that they work in such close proximity, not just in the same office building, but on the very same office floor. But the next day, Chavez declared victory, reversing the score, saying he won 59% of the vote. Everything was computed in the favor of the government. A couple of surprises. Let me give you one bottom line. As a former government official, government's going to kill this guy. They tell you, you take on the intelligence community, they have six ways from Sunday at getting back at you. Peter Neffinger, or retired Admiral Peter Neffinger, he is president and on the board of directors of Smartmatic, and it just so happens he's on pre uh, Mr. Biden's presidential transition team. So uh, the, 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 the only explanation is that the Smartmatic machines had been programmed in that way. A Harvard mathematician crunched the numbers on the Venezuelan election. It had, had to be the Smartmatic system. All these machines talk to a central computer and report on their results. And in, in, that, in that mechanism, as they communicate with the center, the central machine can report anything. Systems are not what you've been told. They are connected to the internet and servers outside of the U.S. They're connected from top to the bottom in the middle. A piece of hardware related to alleged systematic election fraud has been seized in Germany. Just so you, you probably are all aware, on 30 September, uh, an election uh, storage facility was robbed in your state. 30 USB devices were stolen and a laptop. Philadelphia police are investigating after somebody broke into an election machine warehouse and stole a laptop and 
a USB drive. There is no evidence of widespread voter fraud. We're fixing to overturn the results of the election in multiple states, and President Trump won by not just hundreds of thousands of votes, but by millions of votes that were shifted by this software that was designed expressly for that purpose. <gasps> this machine is rigged! Good. This doesn't happen in America! Maybe Ohio, but not in America! Ah! The GOP keeps spreading completely unsubstantiated claims of voter fraud. Oh. Pay no attention to that man hey. behind the curtain. You just watch. We have the cards. They don't. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. It will be biblical.